appreciate your help in escorting us through this tricky task. This has been a wild couple of days. I will salvage wherever I can find in this realm. Here are the first sentient creatures I've come across that aren't made of tentacles and crab claws. What about Calvin Drake? <laughs> Who do you really call him sentient? No! I, uh, I agree with Drago. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna head over to Kickbeat over here. I'M A PIRATE! You pillage another demon village nearby. There are more of them? But we've annihilated at least... I don't know. How many shots did I take last night? That will stand a few more than I need of extermination. Ha! Ah! My exterminators is acting out again! Where are they going, man? Stay it here if you don't want to sit in the splash zone of the exploding nerd like shit. Wait! We can fight too! No, not how so, William Nerd. You don't explode. Explode? What? Isn't that a guardsman only thing? You see, Helmborn is all about your willpower. If you believe in your survive, if you believe in your strengths, if you believe all these massive spine snapping blood gates cannot kill you, the war is all yours. And that's what the hell is for. But all I'm drunk as you are now, the only your trips are all balancing on the brink of spluttering all across the armor. So, in short, stay put, shut your face, and wait till I can lose you up some more. Oh, come now, do not doubt us. Well, I'll tell you like for that. I have attended many sober fights in the past. Like pillow fights? Carried out countless planetary cleansings. I suppose you're playing flaws better than you swing a sword. I have a chill count of over a billion potential witches and heretics. You know, guilt me in, there's a difference between using your instincts and killing by smashing some button with your forehead. Well, that's not something I expect you so to know. Where are we going now? It is well within my genetic structure to act according to my instincts. All right, stop your job. What with my saintly origins? Me being banished to this realm was the very result of my glorious instincts to begin with. That's incredibly pathetic. I'm going now. Bye. As I am sure yours do, my godly genes provide me with premonition. What did you just howl and say to me? But this is no surprise, seeing as your genes and mine are directly linked, my son. Please tell me I misheard, because I just thought I heard ye, a double with the face of a scout man with her, who is probably 13,000 moons younger than me. Just call me son. No. I did indeed, woven son of mine. I'm gonna punt your face off for that. Don't do that. Already doing it. No. Yes. No, do not! What was that noise? It was the miserable scream of an old man being punched in the face, father. Right. Nevertheless, Magnus and Dato Boy have still not returned. My sorrow knows no bounds at this point. Father, your excessive wailing will not lead you anywhere. Magnus is more than likely searching the Imperial Palace for him at this very moment. Why does that shit wizard take such time doing so? The Imperial Palace encompasses 147,181 square kilometers, with 4,029,854 individual chambers in both the inner and outer palace. Finding him may very well take days. Well, I gave Magnus a bike, so he has no excuse. Can I too have a bike, father? No. You are too fat. You hurt me, father. Good. I too wish to go fast. I am now sad. Well, maybe. If you promise to keep your ass within smelling distance, unlike the other two. That does sound very contradictory to your supposed wish of them returning, father. I know the ins and outs of this palace like no other. I would find them in but an hour. Please, just stay here. I do not want to risk losing you two. That sounds like a lie, father. Stop reading my actions like I am some spooky pop-up book. Father is working. I was certain you were. Look, just shut your fuzzy face for a second while Daddy pulls his strings. Random mechanicus guy. I call upon the... How can I serve you, Emperor? 
Who are you? And why aren't you you poster guy? He went on vacation, but do not fret, for I too have a massive fixation with slapping my cyberdog against the hull of toasters. At least you are honest. Could the Emperor be rebuilt entirely after Cyberdom? Shut it, and go inspect Jack Hotay's old shed to see if there are any bikes left for Rogel, preferably the mobility scooter pattern. Do Segways still exist in the 41st millennium? Fuck off immediately. Are legs actually vehicles driven by tiny snotlings? Yay. Bike. That actually reminds me. Rogel. Do you know where your brother Jaghate is currently located? I am fairly certain Jaghate Khan disappeared from real space about 70 years after the Horus Heresy. Do you remember where to? To somewhere in not real space. Fuck baskets, why do all my loyal sons have to mysteriously disappear into some murder trench telescape when I am not around? I did not, father. Yes, why did you not? You think you are exempt of responsibility and able to just not proceed to get lost in some endless void in the hopes of wrecking non-human ass and possibly rescuing me in some far-flung manner? No. While my siblings are out being lost, I came here to keep our rambling paraplegic father company. Because I love him more than any other. You are lucky I find salt and sweet to go nicely together, son. I knew there was a reason I named you Praetorian of Terra that one time. I fail to see how a combination of flavor sensations are relevant to me caring for you. But as irrelevant as they may be, I am glad you like things. Speaking of things half dead, you should get that head of yours checked. Something is clearly off and I am becoming increasingly worried. Do not worry, father. I check my head every day in the mirror. Everything is still on. For fuck's sake, let us move back to the topic of Jack Hotty. Do you know anything of what his legion, the Weiss cars, have been up to as of late? No. Curses. I guess I will have to pry that information out of whatever custodian is invading my personal space today. That would be me, sir. Oh boy, the unnotable middleman. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty mundane, aren't I? Disturbingly so. The only reason I remember you is because you are amongst other more conspicuous companions. I mean, like the others, you are there. But you leave only a fraction of the impression. Oh, quite. Say, do you also like bikes? It is incidentally a fancy of mine, yes. Uninteresting. Hard to remember and likes bikes. You should totally join the wife's cars. You would fit right in. I do also happen to have a pretty ravishing moustache under this helmet, yes. Speaking of, do you happen to know anything about the wife's cars and their current shenanigans? Hmm, I do know that they defended the Imperial Palace during the Horus Humbug. Jerry Khan most spent that battle standing up on the roof of a razorback. <laughs> he also went around his sable while screaming like a lunatic. Yes. Well, he actually stood still for more than 20 seconds. While this is several millennia too late, I am proud of his progress. To be fair, sir, the tank he stood upon was going at at least 200 miles per hour. So what happened after the battle? Did Jack Hate use his fearsome velocity to become one with the speed force? I don't know, sir. What the fuck do you mean I don't know? I only know about the white scars being around during the Horus humbug as I saw it with my own eyes. Not much more than that, yes. Fucking damn it. Are you three just especially incompetent? Or does my one true caretaker just know an abnormal amount of trivia for some reason? I can always go and ask Kitten about it if you really do crave that information. What the fuck is the point of you being my caretakers if you cannot answer these questions yourself? Well, technically, answering questions isn't a part of the job description. You are such a fucking bore. Stripping the mold from your thighs is, however, so I can do that instead if you'd like. Just go and get yourself informed, please. I will, sir. Fo and do tell Cylinder Boy and Magnus that I miss them while you are at it. Oh, I shall, but Kitten must wait for first I must fiercely slap that red hot asshole hand is fiercely craving some demon misbehaving. <laughs> I suddenly feel kinda bad about laughing at Lorgar when he wore his chastity belt. Father. I was just reminded of something. Was it how to breathe with your nose? Before Jagatai disappeared, he did keep mumbling something about and I quote, going faster than those knife-eared assholes. Knife-eared assholes, you say? There is only one species out in the galaxy that could aptly go by that description. Actually, father, Eldar, Orcs, Rakgul, Beastmen, and other select mutant species could all go by this description. I said aptly, you crusader of useless exposition. He was obviously referring to the Eldar. The Dark Eldar, to be exact. After Horus's rebellion, Dragatai Khan's return to his home planet of Mundus Planus was met with grief. 
The Dark Eldar had carried out numerous heists upon the defenseless planet while the White Scars were away. They took thousands of Imperial citizens to serve as slaves in the Dark City of Kamara. If there has ever been an existence as utterly unnecessary as the Dark Elders, it probably never existed to begin with. We direly need to find this massive veg fest of a city and king shame the shit out of it with cyclonic torpedoes. I disagree, for the mere reason that the Khan may reside there at this very moment. You actually think he yet lives, and there, of all places. Yes, it only makes sense that the Khan would chase the Dark Eldar into the webway for vengeance. But... I do not doubt for a second that my brother still lives. No foul Zeno could ever hope to pierce his steadfast determination. I feel more distraught about this than anything. If there is one place you do not want to find yourself alone, it is that place. If the galaxy was a massive run-down town, Kamorak would be the local nightclub turned insane asylum. Please do not worry, father. For while the Dark Elder proved to carry great mastery of hidden run tactics, I doubt they have much experience in the very same tactics being used against them. With extreme efficiency, no less. That does sound plausible. Neither would I be surprised if Jagate just challenged them to 10,000 years worth of bike races. Jagate Khan likes going fast. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes. That reminds me. Random Mechanicus guy, I call upon thee once more. That more purposes to serve. Have you found the bike yet? There may still be a bike in the shed, but so far we don't know until it is confirmed. That is a really stupid fucking way of saying it, but alright. Your secondary mission is now to tell the scribes to send a new message to the Ultramarines telling them to find Jack Hatekon while they are still going to the webway to dance it off with the Harlequin. Ultramarines may in fact not be Ultramarine Blue after all, but rather a shade of cobalt blue, making their entire existence a massive lie. You can go now, please. Where are we actually going? What does going mean? What does it go? Is go go blue? What an uncanny character. No. Yes. No. Oh shit, Biscuits. I almost forgot. We are still waiting for that one companion. There is one entering right now. Fucking finally. Greetings, Mademoiselle Emperor. Oh fuck no, it's the creepy one. I just so happen to be standing around intensely eavesdropping on your conversation when I heard that your current caretaker is missing. That nobody went to acquire information about the Weiss cars from your Captain General since the rest of you are so disgustingly inept at this caretaker job that you need to do what I literally have been doing with him this entire time, being pushing him for knowledge before you imitate him word for word in front of me like some greased up beef parrots. Oh my! You must really be covering that knowledge! Your senseless passion runs up my heart, spine like an unstoppable squat train with your every word! Stop speaking in such eloquently disgusting manners, you fucking oil tanker. No! <laughs> Giving me pet names like that only slips me deeper into the gaping crevice that is my adoration for you. Holy fuck, just please get my caretaker here before I have to get my psych fist all banquet. Absolutely, my emperor. I shall locate him with utmost grace. The sensational friction is all but lost on me now. Burning the kinds I occasionally enjoy, of course. Well, no floor. Floors cannot speak, unneutered one. Please stop fucking up my floors and slide on out of here before I vaporize your ball sack with a single thought. Right away! While we await their undesirable return, I wish to speak to you about something. What is it you wish of me, father? You carry knowledge about the history of your sons, the Imperial Fists, yes? Yes. Can you bring unto me this knowledge? Yes. Can you do it now? Yes. Fucking do it then. Where should I begin? After my entrapment in this giant shiny chair. Very well. Once upon a time, I was me. After Horace's Rebellion. I was distraught because you had died. My normal calm had been compromised to the point that the only reasonable thing I could think to do was to bring my Imperial Fist with me to hunt down and kill all remaining traitors with immense abhorrence. That is the best Father's Day present I could think of. When we returned, Gilliman showed us all a book he had written. 
Khan and Korax really liked the book. Me, Rus and Vulcan did not. The book was to break all legions into small chapters. We started complaining. A lot. Oh yes, that superfluous second founding shittery. Why the balls did it go through if almost half of you voted fuck that? I did not wish to copulate with his book, father. I have only seen Lorgar do such a thing. Please erase these mind images immediately. But I did vote no. It felt like my brothers and the Imperium blamed me for your fall. I would personally blame fucking Horus since he murdered me and stuff. But they could totally blame you for this achievement of iron halo stuck in my cranium. Nevertheless, I resisted Gilliman's Codex Astartes. I called Gilliman a coward. He called me a traitor. I called him conceited. He had the Imperial Navy launch codexes at my strike cruiser. I was something beyond furious. What made me more upset was when Perturabo, ever the petulant man-child, came along and challenged us Imperial Fist to a sea battle. I then sat in the room with my magic pain glove for seven days. As I did, I saw a vision of you, father. You were not dead. You had been with me all that time. Spectral me is just as much a talker as you, it seems. It was then I realized the folly of my actions. I did not want more conflict between us, Primarchs. So, I accepted the book and gave it a 5 out of 10. It was okay review. It is too bad someone less notorious for their extremely complacent attitude towards themselves had not written that codex instead. Can you just imagine, if, say, Codex had written it? No one would have fucking cared, and the Imperium's bulwark would not have been spread out like the last remaining Astartes but on a galactic sandwich. But even if I had accepted the book, it did not mean my sons had. All my Imperial fish did not like the book, and I started appreciating it only after seven days of intense torture. Sounds like a great book. To show them why we need to follow this book, why this split had to happen. I had to give all members of our Legion the same enlightenment that I had received through my magic paint glove. I do not like where we are going. Unfortunately, we do not have enough gloves for everyone. Well, that is a relief. So, I accepted Perturabo's challenge instead. Well, that is a not relief. I swore that I would dig Perturabo out of his hole and bring him back to Terra in an iron cage. And thus began the battle. How did it go? Bad. How bad? Very bad. Tell me why. Perturabo had always been envious of me since I got the honor of rebuilding the Imperial Palace. But since he no longer had a chance to fail at breaking into it after the Battle of Terror, Perturabo yet wanted a way to satiate his massive childish grudge. So he built the Eternal Fortress upon the planet of Sebastus IV. Was it made out of solid gold? No. See, this is why I gave the job to you, and not him. Did you not give it to me for my superior skill at the constructing of fortresses? Yeah, sure, whatever, continue. The battle upon Sebastus IV became known as the Iron Cage. It was terrible. Many died on both sides. Many of my men died to foul tricks and deception on Pesaramo's part. Honestly, did you expect anything else from someone who absolutely super babby hates you? I did not carry expectations. I came to the planet without preparation, without a plan, only redemption in mind. Seriously, if Spectral Pain Love Me was the one to convince you of all this shit, then he's a massive fucking asshole. We did win, but not without aid from the Alpha Marines who came uninvited. After this, the same pain I had felt had spread across my legion tenfold. I bet they were all in agreement that the Codex Astartes was pretty okay compared to massive, grievous casualties. Yes. We decided to split the Imperial Fist Legion into several chapters, such as the Crimson Fist, the Black Templars, and the modern Imperial Fist chapter. I am surprised one of those do not have the word Fists in their name. That is because they are absolute lunatics. Hut, 
Oh well. Do you know what your fists are up to now? One of my fists is hanging from my arm. Fucking damn it. While the other is enshrined deep in our fortress monastery of the Phalanx. Each new chapter master crowned has the right to engrave their heraldry upon the hand as tradition. I do not want that hand back anymore. First off, fucking damn it, Trogel, that is not what time and and second off, is it not super creepy that your rotting skeletal fist is enshrined as some object of worship millennia after you lost it? Fuck you. <laughs> that is funny. Well, I did not know you were capable of laughs. I am fully capable of the laughter. What do you even find funny? Reality is funny. Tell me something funny then. Yes. Do you know how us humans express praise by clapping our hands? I am aware. That is hilarious. How? Because smacking the floppy end parts of your arms together to make a noise is a strange way of expressing praise. That is why it is funny. Well, you are certainly not wrong, huh? I am happy to be of amusement to you, father. But allow me to tell you that I do in fact not know much of what my sons are doing as of right now. But I wish to meet them once more. Soon. That will surely spook them out, good? Yes. Now allow me to further disclose to you things that are funny. Sure. None of the local nudist colony have returned anyway. I wonder where the fuck they could be. you wake me up? Oh, you're dead. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Where did Ross go? Farewell, beloved family. Well, those nerglings won't shit on themselves. Bye bye I love you. Taking down these abominable nether creatures. I say we throw it our vortex grenades at them! But vortex grenades just don't have lifts in the wall, don't they? I mean, we're already in the wall. We shall send them to the Silver Warp! Mighty fine. It got me slingshots with you. I want to see how many demons can head can rip through before it gives us. Ross! Finally, I found oh, you! Oh, damn it, you weren't supposed to be! By my fist covered nipples, it be materials! Told the town bell! Told the town bell! Ugh, pretty good. Go to Kevin while I take care of his mouth straight now. Jet boots, activate! Let's go, Fredo! All right, you thundering knobhead. Explain me that scent before I launch you to the other side of the wall with my iron fucking feet. You did not allow me to explain before you pummeled my fair visage. You have better explained quickly. I left my patience for whole shit back of the materium. Look, you really are my son, Lemus. Break can be courage to my car. I know it may be hard to comprehend, but 
This is the first time that we've met each other in over 10,000 years. And I want us to be on good terms again. Oh, by Fenris, what the feck are you talking about? You see, Link, I have lived through most of my mortal life as Fyodor Karamazov. But I am just that much more. As was revealed to me before my unjust banishment to this realm, I am the Emperor, your father. <laughs> Stop that! I'm serious! Alright, I'll be serious. You dare to disrespect my father in such a manner? He carried the might and manliness of a thousand muscle bound yards. He was noble, just, and his very being radiated immeasurable power and charisma. When you were in his presence, you knew who he was. And I can assure you, you are no father of mine, Milksop. That is where you are wrong. This revelation was granted me not as a whisper from the dark, not through a fallacious herald, nor through copious amounts of brain aneurysms. During my time in the material, I spearheaded an invasion as a highly heretical decree had been spread across the galaxy. This decree was sent from Holy Terror itself, so we made haste to find its origin, to liberate our most precious planetary cradle from this traitorous influence. And we found it. Inside the Imperial Palace, in the Emperor's own throne room, the filth that had composed this blasphemous decree was located. This bee, no, this creature, was as powerful as he was cunning. Both the ecclesiarchy and the Emperor's personal guard, the custodians, had wavered to the ruinous powers as they had all come to kneel before a crimson demon with a single hateful eye. What? A crimson demon? With a single eye? Indeed. We entered the throne room in hopes to save our Emperor. But this horrid demon banished us to this realm before we could do so much as lay a finger on it. But before this happened, the Emperor himself revealed unto me the truth of my very existence. A fragment of his psyche. Lost in the void of time, impregnated my progenitress, soon giving birth to me. I may have lived as Fyodor Karamazov up until now, a great man in his own right, and loyal servant of his emperor. But now, I know that I am more than a mere man. My destiny is to escape this realm, reunite with my throne-bound self, and bring humanity into a glorious new age. And I want you, my son, to aid me in this endeavor. Tell me, Inquisitor, were you truly, truly, within the Imperial Palace? Did you really see this red demon Cyclops? I did indeed see it. I swear it upon my honor. And my extremely warranted self-importance. It is good that you realize the seriousness of this situation. Now, son, you may apologize for your earlier transgressions. I shall graciously accept and give you a fatherly pat upon your fluffy head. We must go to Terra. No! We can do that too if you want. But how? Are there any ways out of this realm? We've been stuck here for centuries. There is one, Leeds. A dangerous one. But we shall take it. We are marching to the gates of Cain. Road trip, yeah!
Magnus, why are we going by ship to Nocturne when you can just tell it what is there? Silence, companion! I have not ridden in one of these vessels for millennia. Please allow me to soak in the nostalgia. But it's going to take a lot more time. Look, we are going to sit on this ship, plunder the minibars, play the video games, and use good old Ouija boards to scare the absolute shit out of demons. This I have decreed. I am surprisingly okay with this. Excellent. Let the amusement commence. <laughs> Come and fist me, Rogal! Wait, that didn't come out right. Even I don't know how to get inside this one! Seriously, I think I left the key inside somewhere. So, uh, yeah, that's actually the main reason I'm asking you to break in. So, yeah, hop to it. No. What the f-